Frank Stallone doesn't want to be known just as Rocky's little brother, but you can rest assured that he is proud of his family's legacy. He doesn't feel overshadowed by his brother in the least bit, although that doesn't mean his journey in the entertainment industry has always been an easy one. Frank is actually the subject of a new documentary called Stallone, Frank, that is, which documents the performer's successful career as a singer and actor. The film features candid interviews with some of Frank's friends and colleagues. Participants include folks like John Oates, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and Richie Sambora. And of course, Sylvester Stallone comes through to talk about his brother. In an interview with Fox News, Frank revealed that he has stayed busy in show business for all these years by taking essentially whatever work comes his way. I've done about 77 movies, Frank shared, then continued, a lot of them were lousy, but they were all learning experiences for me. Frank's proved himself to be a dedicated performer. Even though not every film he's done has struck gold, Frank wanted it to be known that all those roles weren't given to him just because of his name. He brought up his role in Barfly and how he had auditioned for it. It wasn't given to him just because he was Sylvester's brother. Rather, he had to prove himself and convince the casting directors that he had what it took to outshine the other auditioners. Although he admits not every film he's done has been the best, he has contributed to quite a few good films as well. The only thing he regrets about his film career is that it forced him to neglect his musical career at times. Music, after all, is his first love. He enjoys being on camera, but nothing compares to the thrill of playing a high-energy show in front of an audience. You'd think being Sylvester Stallone's brother would put you in the front of the line for film role opportunities. But there was a time that Frank Stallone struggled to find any film work. For a while, he couldn't even get an agent, so he hit the books and started studying theater. Soon enough, good scripts as well as cruddy ones were coming his way. His goal was to stay in the game, and no matter what, he always returned back to his music. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Tap the bell icon to turn on notifications to stay updated on all our latest content. And you're gonna wanna stick around. We bet you can't guess which member of the Rat Pack was a huge fan of Frank Stallone's music. Rocky changed both Stallone's lives forever. While Frank was first pursuing his musical career, he made his film debut alongside his brother in 1976's Rocky, where he got the opportunity to show off his musical prowess in an unforgettable doo-wop scene. Frank was in a music group at the time called Valentine. They were starting to play regularly in the Jersey area, but he was still only making about a hundred bucks a week. So when his brother called him up and told him about the boxing film he was working on and asked if he wanted to write some music for it, he jumped on the opportunity. After a while, however, Frank's band started bringing in more cash. Once the band was making $140 a night, some of the members were reluctant to devote their time to the film instead. But Sylvester combated that hesitation by making them an offer they couldn't refuse. He told them he could pay each band member $140 a day to come down to Philadelphia where the movie was being filmed. And they couldn't argue with that. Even so, working on Rocky was far from glamorous. Stallone said it was frigidly cold at the time of filming, and the neighborhood they were shooting in was really rough. Both Stallones had to sacrifice some of their creature comforts to take part in the film, but ultimately, all that sacrifice and hard work paid off. And while no one could have predicted Rocky would become the sensation it did, Frank still had a hunch that something big and unexpected was on the horizon. From the first time the cast and crew got to sit down and watch the film before it hit theaters, Frank already knew there was something special about Rocky. He couldn't put his finger on what made the movie so special, but the magic contained within it was readily apparent. At one point, Frank was concerned the film might be a flop, but now he assumed at least the production costs would be made back. Little did he know, Rocky was going to be a major blockbuster hit and spawn an entire franchise. After its release, the Stallone family name was no longer unknown. The Stallones, especially Sylvester, blew up seemingly overnight. But it was extraordinarily frustrating for Frank whenever he was asked what it was like to be Rocky's brother. Staying alive and far from over even though Sylvester was clearly on a path to be the most successful member of the family, Frank still remained proud of his brother and the work they were able to accomplish together. In 1983, he appeared in Staying Alive, the sequel to Saturday Night Fever, which Sylvester wrote and directed. Frank's song Far From Over, which he wrote for the film, even became a chart-topping hit. 
It'll despite having a hit it's single on now, his hands, Frank much was disappointed tomorrow. when he got How a call from his brother. How long have you been doing these conventions, Frank? him the song this wouldn't be receiving third, an Oscar nomination I third time here, hoped. and I always... The committee had decided to go with another song instead, despite the fact that it was highly anticipated for Far From Over to receive the nomination. Frank, Frank lamented, music. it took the wind uh, out of my, my sails. Frank Sinatra was a huge fan. Despite the occasional setbacks and disappointments, Frank has never considered quitting music. It's his first true love, and his efforts and persistence paid off for him when he received the stamp of approval from one particular fan. While on a bad date one evening at the Hollywood Bowl, Frank and his unimpressed date were watching Don Rickles perform. After Rickles wrapped up his set, Frank Sinatra came out on stage with his glass of Jack Daniels in hand and asked if Frank Stallone was in the audience. Even though he felt like he might have a heart attack, Frank stood up. What could Frank Sinatra possibly want with him? Sinatra declared, I heard the new album you did. Knocked my socks off, kid. Stallone was floored. He couldn't believe one of the greatest singers of his generation just gave him a shout out on stage. And just like that, Frank's previously unenthusiastic date was all over him. Old Blue Eyes really did Stallone quite a favor that night. From the 2000s to today. Frank Stallone is a huge fan of boxing. In 2005, he was a consultant on the NBC reality show, The Contender. On one occasion, when Frank was a guest on The Howard Stern Show, he had a boxing match with television reporter and personality Geraldo Rivera. Frank won that fight. Stallone was also a contestant on Hulk Hogan's Celebrity Championship Wrestling reality show. Frank released four albums between 1985 and 99. The biggest single of his career, Far From Over, was released on the Staying Alive soundtrack in 83. That album hit number 10 on the US charts and 61 on the Australian charts. From 2000 onward, he had more opportunity to focus on his music. He released his album Full Circle in 2000 and followed that up with Frankie and Billy in 2002. Stallone's last two albums, Songs from the Saddle and the cleverly titled Let Me Be Frank With You, were released in 2005 and 2010, respectively. From 2014 to 2017, he provided the voice for the character Thunderhoof on the animated series Transformers Robots in Disguise. Frank, who's now 70, is mostly retired these days, although he occasionally takes his talents to the screen. He is currently set to play the character Rick Donatello on the upcoming film Veterans Day. Hopefully you've enjoyed learning about Sylvester Stallone's brother Frank. There's a lot of talent in that family. It's a shame Frank's music is sometimes outshined by Sylvester's acting. But we'd love to hear from you. Did you know Sylvester Stallone had a brother that was also moderately famous? Or was this news to you? Let us know in the comments below. And before you move on, make sure you like this video and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.